So something related to percentiles is what's called Z-alpha notation, and inverse norm uh, helps us solve these type of problems also. So when I write uh, Z with a subscripted 0.05, that 0.05 is the area to the right of that Z value. So if I asked you to find Z 0.05, that would mean 5% to the right of that Z value. So it's gonna be over here on the right-hand side of the distribution. So that Z 0.05 be right there. Uh, your right area is 0 0.05. Uh, that means your left area is 0.95. So this is essentially the 95th percentile is what that means. So we do uh, inverse norm. And then left area is 0.95 and mean standard deviation 0, 0,1, because we are talking about z values. And then we can compute that on the calculator. So second variables, uh, inverse norm, uh, 0.95 is our left area, mean zero, standard deviation one, paste it, enter, 1.645. And then uh, why don't you try this one, Z.10. What would that be? So pause the video for a second and enter that one in your calculator. So did you get 1.28? So Z.10 means that the right area is 0 0.10. So this is 10% of the area. And so the left area then is 0 0.90. 90%, so that's 90th percentile. Uh, so inverse norm 0.9 comma 0 comma 1 should get 1.28. And then uh, here negative z.01, so that's the negative of the z value. Um, so we'll find positive z.01, so it's over here on the right hand side. 1% uh, of the area to the right here means 99% to the left. So Z.01 is in the 99th percentile. So this is gonna be inverse norm. Left area 0.99, comma zero, comma one. So let's compute that. So 0 0.99, everything else is the same. Paste it, 2.326 is the 99th percentile. And then the last type of example here is when you've got uh, both a left and a right cutoff. Um, so we want to identify the Z alpha value with 95% of the data is between negative Z alpha. Oh, wait, um, 2.326 is positive Z.01. So this negative Z.01 is negative 2.326. There we go. So we want to identify two values here, uh, a Z alpha and a negative Z alpha. with 95%, so 0.95 is in the middle, 95% of the data in the middle. So in order to do this, uh, we wanna try and figure our left area from Z alpha. Uh, so 95% in the middle, so 5% split between the ends, so 5% divide by 2, 2.5%, so 025. And then over here also, 0.025. And so our Z alpha is going to be inverse norm. And then our left area is going to be the 95 and another 2.5. So 0.975 and then 0, 1. And let's enter that in. So second variables, three for inverse norm. Um, area 0.975 for our left, come down and paste it, enter 1.96.
and then that means that this guy over here is negative 1.96. And again, if you have the menu, you could just do 0.95 and use the center setting. So second variables, uh, three. So you could do 0.95 and then come down and select center. If you, if you have a calculator with the menu, uh, paste it, and there's our negative 1.96, positive 1.96. So that's Z alpha notation, which is essentially percentiles in disguise.